Today's verse of the video is taken from Psalms 42, 1 through 2. As the deer pants for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie if you're new here and if you're returning, welcome back girl and happy new year to all of you. So today's video is just gonna be a makeup therapy video where I kind of just do my makeup while I was talking to you guys about just whatever's on my mind at the moment right now. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what the makeup that I am doing, but mostly it's gonna be me chatting with you guys. So since we're entering the new year, 2022, I figured why don't we just chat about our goals and what we're looking forward to in 2022. So let me start with, so this makeup look is gonna be very basic. It's very simple as you will see as you keep watching. Um, I, I kind of, in this moment, I actually filmed this a couple weeks ago. In this moment, I kind of was just like, you know what? I'm not really feeling that great. So let me just do something that I love. And one of those things include makeup. So I just kind of sat down, did my hair, styled my hair and did my makeup. As y'all can see, I did dye my hair red or burgundy slash red slash light brown. I don't know what the concoction was, but this is the final product. And I actually really like it. Am I going to continue it? Probably for the next couple months, don't know if it's going to be permanent type of thing. I kind of am just like allowing myself to be free, allowing myself to be creative with everything that I do. So that includes my hair. So here we are. Hope y'all like it. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Or even if you have any recommendations for any of the colors because I'm open to trying many new things, including hair colors. So as you can see, I'm kind of just doing my brows like I normally do, as you saw in the past video. So nothing new, no new technique is here. Um, I really need to make a sit down video really going in depth with my brushes because I've realized that certain brushes produce certain results and I didn't know that before. Let me tell you how I figured it out though. I literally have hundreds, not hundreds, I'm gassing it. I have like a good amount of brushes and the past three weeks I've just been traveling so I have had to use the same brushes in rotation the same brushes and rotations for three weeks mind you in those three weeks i was doing my makeup at least every day for about two of those weeks so girl my brushes were dirty very very dirty so when i realized i had no other brushes i had to go through my backup brushes and honestly they just weren't hitting the same at all like they were not hitting the same so i realized that certain brushes really do produce certain results and i need to make sure i have the right brush so for the makeup, in case you guys are wondering, for foundation, I used a mixture of Tahoe and Syracuse. It was the NARS, not the natural radiant one. It was the other one, the glory, glowy one. So I just combined those two together and now I'm just blending, blending, and blending. And y'all gonna see, I blend for a good amount of time and that's real time how long I blend for. I realized like that gets you the perfected, flawless makeup look. It's really how long you blend and as you can see, we still blending, girl. She is still going. Blending, blending, blending. Also, can we just get a round of applause for this skin? Ma'am. Blemishes wear. Pimples wear. I can wear. We have been really taking care of... Well, actually, I'm lying. There's a pimple right at the top right of that screen. I'm embarrassed. But we have been taking care of our skin. And by taking care, I just honestly mean being super consistent morning and night routines like that is all I needed to do and I wasn't doing that before like I'm embarrassed to admit but there was some times where I would be studying and I got super tired and I just kind of like laid in bed thinking I was taking a quote-unquote nap and we all know how that goes it didn't end up being a nap I ended up just falling right asleep and I'd wake up with a pimple each and every time I did that I would wake up with the pimple and never learn my lesson so I was like you know what Natalie, let's just be consistent. Let's be very, very consistent and intentional. And ta-da, here we are. So I'm super happy about that. And we're still blending. And I have to fast forward this too. So imagine this like slower. That's how long I was blending for, for real, for real. But anyways, child. So new year, new you. Is that how you guys are coming in this new year? Let me know in the comments below. What does this new year mean to you? I feel like for me, I feel like every new year that comes, oh, I'm using my Anastasia brow pomade I always use that at the very end of my makeup or my eyebrows rather um, just to kind of darken up the ends anyway so yeah so I feel like this new year I don't know it doesn't really feel like a new year per se but almost like a refined year you know what I'm saying I feel like for me specifically 2021 was a lot of like 
getting real deep and down and dirty with like the inner work and so I feel like walking into 2022 I'm a refined woman you know what I mean does that make sense like I can't explain like I don't feel like I feel like every year I kind of been like new year new me I'm gonna do my fitness goals I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that things that I didn't get to do in 2021 but 2022 for me this time around is more so like I'm walking out of all that I went through, all the inner work that I was going through in 2021, now I'm walking out that door refined and refreshed and renewed. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to explain. That's what 2022 is for me. So I'm super excited to see what that consists of. Like, does that, like, what does it entail for me? So I'm just in like prayer about that and making sure like I'm completely and hopefully guided by the Holy Spirit in that aspect. But I'm curious what it means for you guys. Like, is there something that you're trying to do in 2022 that you didn't get to do this past year? Do you feel like you did something but you want to improve on it? I feel like once we realize that we have complete and utter control of how we live our lives, don't get me wrong, God controls, God guides all. But like, you have the choice. You have the complete choice and free will to choose how you want the year to turn out. I feel like once we realize that, we kind of move differently because it's, it's super easy to feel like your circumstances kind of devi- define your outcome but no they really don't you make the choice you say yes and you keep it going it won't be easy but once you make that choice nothing can stop you but you that's my intake on it so right now i just primed my eyelids and i am setting where i primed with my micro smooth setting powder by Sephora, which is one of my favorite powders. This is one of the items in my makeup collection that I do have backups of because it's just so good. And if it were to like run out or like, what's the word? If it were to like get canceled or something, I would actually be devastated. So now I'm taking my soft glam palette by Anastasia yet again. So this is kind of like an Anastasia friendly video, I guess. And we're just gonna do a super light makeup look. Right now I'm just darkening up the outer parts of my, like look at my skin girl. Girl, look at my skin. Mm, what? What? Mm. Anyways, child. So yeah, so I'm dark- darkening the outer parts of my eyelid, and I'm bringing it inside, but I'm not bringing it to the inner corner. You don't want to do that. I'm keeping that real light, and I'm keeping the outer parts real dark. So I'm just blending, 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 and I'm gonna be doing that for the next couple of minutes. Now that I'm thinking about it, let me just backtrack for a second with the whole circumstances and control. I feel like. To a certain extent, your circumstances can define the trajectory. No, actually, pause. Your circumstances can define the things that you are able to go through and things that you do go through. But I don't think your circumstances necessarily have to define the trajectory of your outcome or your situation or whatever it is that you're going through. I think that's a better statement than the last one I made. Because I have to, you know, at the end of the day, like, there is certain circumstances that kind of, like, keep you at a standstill you know but i think that it's our choice to determine whether that standstill will be everlasting or will it just be temporary and i think from there we can move forward and start making those steps where it's like you know what i may not be able to get out of this right now but i'm determined to get out of this eventually and take do the work to get me out of there you know what i'm saying i hope that makes sense i feel like i'm kind of rambling but that's what makeup therapy is all about it's really just chatting getting things off your mind off your chest i feel like when you bottle those things in like you have no room to release you know you have no room to really free yourself from whatever it is that's keeping you like going crazy you know what i'm saying so we are continuing to darken the outer parts of the lid there's actually a couple things i want to mention that we've already passed so with my eyebrows remember what is our saying for eyebrows it's keep it nude keep it smooth um, for the top of the brow and for the bottom of the brow is to keep it light keep it bright that is law okay that is eyebrow law do not ever ever allow yourself to forget that because it it matters you know what i'm saying like i remember back in the day i would put light on the top and the bottom and i look crazy no the top keep it nude keep it the way you're keep it keep it of your skin tone essentially if you're wondering what i use for the top i just started using my la girl pro conceal that we used to stan back in the day like you wouldn't do your makeup without those tubes like you just wouldn't so i brought those back i use my la pro concealer don't know why i ever stopped honestly it is amazing still and i've had it for at least five years but that's between me and you 
So I'm the shade Cool Tan for the, for the top part of my eyebrows where it blends perfectly with my skin tone. In the bottom, I use... What did I use for the bottom today? I think I used... Um, oh, I used my... I actually don't remember, but it's one of my lighter concealers that I use um, for the bottom of my brows. The other thing I wanted to make sure I mention is your sponges. So remember when I was blending and I kept blending and I continue to keep blending? Just remember to keep your sponges damp. Like you have to have a damp brush because the blending is so like, it's so flawless with that wet sponge. And I don't know the mechanism. I don't know the pathophysiology as to why, but I just know it works. I've done the, I've done the before, I've done the after, and I know it works with when it's damp. So I just wanted to, I had those points written down, so I wanted to make sure I say those points. And the other thing that I'm trying to work on in 2022 is to stop putting my cam my mirror in front of the camera. Like, I don't know why I haven't learned my lesson. Every time I edit a video, I'm like, Natalie, the girls can't see what you're doing. So what are you showing them? Like, what are you showing them? So that's something I wrote down on my list of things to do. Take that mirror off the camera. And I have, I don't know what it is, I have like those stand those standing mirrors that you like kind of just sit at your desk and open up and that's your mirror for the makeup but I don't know this little thing right here that I have in my hand it's like I love it like it's perfect like I don't know I don't know why I always gravitate towards that okay anyway so now we've done our eyeliner really simple really cute and we're putting on our lashes so lash hat I remember when I was struggling with lashes and I couldn't understand why I had the tools I had a little tweezer didn't understand why so what I realized is that you really have to let that that's that glue dry like you're gonna start to feel like the glue is too dry and that's when it's perfect like that's literally it like you have to let the glue dry and I use clear glue so clear glue you have to kind of let it turn blue you start to see like a blue tint to it and you know it's ready to apply to your lashes and remember I always say in my videos you look down while you're applying your lashes and you apply from the top above your natural lashes. Okay? Got it? Okay, I'm checking off points right now, okay? Off my list. So now we're at concealer and there's nothing... I don't know what I'm doing there. I don't know why I did that, but it's me. What can I say? So what we just did is we put concealer on in our normal spots where we want to highlight. What I just started doing actually... I actually started doing this in Jamaica three weeks ago is I do my concealer and bronzer together like i apply them together so i didn't finish blending that concealer out yet and i started applying my cream bronzer this bronzer particularly it's getting returned it's giving return because do you see anything on my on my cheeks like the bronzy areas wait don't do that don't do that like y'all itch your y'all itch your nose too when you're doing makeup don't play with me anyways do you see any bronze points because i don't I see nothing it's almost like i have no bronzer on and i do i put od bronzer on and there's nothing popping up i think it matched too perfectly to my skin tone so that got returned already and it already got the refund in my account period so yeah so i started doing my concealer and bronzer together and that changed everything so let me explain i would i put my concealer on right blend it out well I let it sit first you want to let it sit give you more of a full coverage look then I start applying my cream not my powder my cream bronze I guess you can see a little bit but that's neither here nor there my cream bronzer you apply that you start blending that out a little bit to give you the shape of the sculpt that you want on your face as you can see I'm doing that with the this other cream bronzer as well and then I go back to blending my concealer normally I would blend my concealer out and then immediately apply my setting powder no 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 now I'm applying my cream bronzer on before I set my under eyes because I want to make sure all my creams are on before I start applying my powder. I realized, I mean, I I used to get dark patches. I wasn't getting dark patches before, but I don't know, like the blend is more seamless when I did all the creams first and then my powders after. And I'm sure the girls have been saying that for years, but I just wasn't doing it because for me, like I've told you guys in previous videos, is I like to do it for myself and then I can prove to myself that it actually does work you know what I mean so I just finished burning my cream bronzer I didn't apply too much because I literally was doing my makeup just to feel better not to actually go anywhere and that's it so I blended out my concealer I blended out my cream bronzer I'm sculpting a little bit more under my under my bronzer giving a little bit more of a snatch look not too crazy not too crazy we're not going for the look today we're just going for the okay 
scope here, scope there kind of look. And then I set everything. So we're gonna get to the setting in a little bit. So right now we're just continuing to sculpt, making sure that both sides are, this part you need to go slow. You wanna make sure both sides are even. Like you don't wanna have one cheek higher than the other. It's giving, it's just not giving actually. That's the point, it's not giving. So you wanna go take this part slow and make sure you're matching both sides like I'm doing right now. You just look, look, glance, boom. Now I'm setting with my Huda Beauty setting powder um, and that's gonna go first, you're gonna set your under eye. So I know you probably guys are wondering like, but girl, isn't your creases under your eye coming back since you waited that long to set? No, because what you have to do is right before you set, you need to just blend right under your eye again, just to get all those creases out smoothly. And then you quickly apply your setting powder. And this, this blew mine because this wasn't supposed to happen. No one told my setting powder to go in like that. But it's okay, damage control. We removed it, period, and we're moving forward. That's all you gotta do. I told you, every step of the makeup look is fixable. Every single step of the makeup look is fixable. Okay, so that's done. And now we're just contouring our nose. You always gotta contour your nose and get that snatched look. And like I said, nothing too crazy, but we all gotta do a little something, something, and that's it. So I just applied my, I use my cream bronzer for my, I usually do the same steps I do when I'm doing my cheeks or contouring my cheeks as I do to contouring my nose. So I apply my cream products first, and then I apply, I go over that with my um, powder products. Cause for me, it's like my powder is setting up my cream. So my nose is snatched to my liking, very simple, not, nothing too crazy. And now I'm just highlighting in the specific parts, right in the tip of my nose, like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, and my, um, and the, the inner, what do you call it, the bridge of your nose, yeah. And now I'm taking my setting powder and I'm drenching. I drench no matter what. I don't care if I'm doing a full makeup look, a light makeup look. I'm drenching my face. Do you understand me? Do you understand? I'm drenching and I'm gonna continue drenching. Look, that's the second, that's the second makeup spray I used. Let it dry, let it dry, let it dry. And now we're moving on to lips. So I make sure to always remove the foundation excess from my face that's on my lips. Take that all out. And now we're just lining our lips. And this is pretty much the end of the video. I'm just going to complete my lips and show you guys the final look. But thank you so much for tuning into my makeup therapy video. I'm going to continue doing this a little bit more. Um, it's pretty much based on mood, so there's no telling when it's going to happen. But it's going to be more of this because I love just talking and chatting and I love doing my makeup. So when I combine the two into one. But thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Sometimes, wish that I could be the me that was with you.